Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we will show you how to remove and replace phone grill on dot charger. Guys, stay with us. We're gonna start on it in a second. Please subscribe and let's uh, grow the channel together. Be part of it. So now in order to remove the grill, guys, you need to remove those plastic trims right here. So you just pull those out. Okay, like that. There is a few clips and you need to remove this one here as well. Okay, just like that. And that's the grill guys right here in the back. So now let's see if we can reach that thing from here without removing the bumper cover. Okay, we'll show you where all the clips are once we, once we remove it. Okay, and there is a few bolts, uh, screws as well. So stay with us guys, we're going to remove the bumper. You don't have to do that, but once we remove it, we'll be able to show you better so you know what to expect. Okay guys, next thing we'll need to remove the tire, okay, and we'll need to remove a few clips, so you just push those in, okay, this one is a different kind, we need to remove the middle piece out, okay, so you need to remove the middle piece out of here, those you just push the middle piece in, they have a few different kinds, okay, and now we have a clip right here as well that we'll need to remove, Okay, came out, you can see what it looks like, this one right there now, we need to remove the uh, ABS cable, so push on the spring down and then you can pull the sensor out. Okay, this one here, we will need to remove that fender liner so we can get to it guys. Okay, let's see if we can pull it out. Okay, just like that, the front end of it. And now we we'll have one bolt right here that we'll need to remove. Two of them actually. Okay, right here, you can see, with a 10 millimeter socket. Okay, one is out. And the other one is right in front of it there. Okay guys, trying to do our best here. There is one more bolt, okay, that we need to show you. Okay, so the other bolt is right here going this way. It's really hard to show you guys exactly where it is. It's, it's a nut. Okay, actually not a bolt with a 10 millimeter socket, okay, that one is out of there. Once we remove the bumper, we'll show you where exactly it is. Now if you go towards the front, now there, there is an another bolt. Okay, right there. Okay, now we need to pull the, okay, you can see the turn signal out. Uh, you can do that from uh, under the end, uh, if you go through the engine bay, but uh, that's the thing you're looking for. You need to push it this way and pull it out, and you need to disconnect the wire. And we need to do the same procedure on the other side. Okay, right, guys, we're on the passenger side now, and we're going to do the same procedure as well. You need to push those in the center pieces on the front clips. We need to remove the ABS cable, push down and pull on the cable. And a few more clips so we can get to the two bolts and the nut there that we already removed on the other side. Okay, we're almost ready here now. We're going to pull it out. To the side. Okay, now we can get to to the two two bolts with the 10 millimeter socket and the two nuts. Actually, one nut. Two bolts and one nut. Okay, out of there. Ok, 
Okay, that came out. We lost it somewhere, but it's out. Okay, we have one more here on top, that boat. You can see in the corner. We already removed the turn signal, just the same procedure like the other side. Yeah, okay, right there now. So we need to remove those clips here now. So you need to pull the center piece out and once you pull it out the other piece will come out too. Sometimes they will break so you need to buy replacement ones. If you guys find them on eBay they're pretty inexpensive, 20 for like 5 bucks. Part store usually they tend to be a little bit expensive. Okay, it came out. And we need to do the same procedure for a few more. One here actually is missing, this bumper has been removed before. Sometimes they will be really stuck depending guys if you have dust in them. Okay, and two more there to go. As you can see, one more again missing here. They didn't install this one because I told you they tend to break. We're lucky so far on this one. But on another one that we did a bumper replacement, we broke all of them. And the last one now here. Probably the last one will be the one that's stuck really bad. If you have pliers guys, it helps a lot with the pliers. Okay, this one came out as well. And we can go ahead and pull the bumper out now. If you have fog lights, you might have wires that you need to disconnect, but this model does not have those, so we don't need to worry about it. Okay guys, so the grill is here now. Okay, those are the bolts that we are talking about, screws with a few of screwdriver that are hard to get to. Those in the middle are actually pretty easy, but uh, we have one more on this side here, and on the other side you need to use a very short screwdriver if you don't want to remove the bumper. Otherwise you won't be able to, uh, to pull the grill out. Okay, right there now, and just one more here. Okay, and after that, you need to pull, push on those things here. And this one is stuck pretty good there. Okay, this one came out. Oh, that was the camera. Okay, two more. And just last one here. You just need to get underneath it, spread it a little bit and it will come out. Alright guys, and the grill should come right out of here now, as you can see, just like that. So that's how you guys remove and replace the grill if you need to, you put it back together the same way. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.